throughout the world, there are ancient traditions that identify the center of the head as being synonymous with the center of the Earth, the center of the universe, and the very center of creation itself. This center is often depicted as egg-shaped and is identified in some cultures as the third eye. There are multiple cultures that point us in the same direction. The Hindus have it as the third eye or the bindi. The Buddhists have the third eye on Buddha's forehead. We see symbology in Mesoamerica, which seems to symbolize the ability to contact and communicate with the higher spiritual realms using this secret symbol that is consistent throughout all the major world religions. When you talk about the third eye, it's about enlightenment. It's about this connection to the great unknown or the force of the universe. And we think that we are separated from the world when in reality, we are all connected to every single object in the universe. And that inherently means that we are directly connected to every extraterrestrial being throughout the entire universe. Is it possible that the cosmic egg isn't only a symbol for the universe or how the universe was formed, but represents a connection that exists within each and every human to the cosmos and possibly to extraterrestrial beings that came to Earth in the distant past. Ancient astronaut theorists point out that while the third eye has historically been considered a metaphor, there is an egg-shaped structure within the brain that is critical in defining what it means to be human, the thalamus. Shaped like two identical eggs, the thalamus lies at the center of the brain and is the hub responsible for relaying information from most of the sensory receptors. Scientists studying the effects of thalamic stimulation on comatose patients have recently suggested the thalamus might be the most important factor in human consciousness. The thalamus is like a relay station in the brain. So you have all the primary sensory information coming in, like information coming in your eyes, through your retina, and through your ears, and all these sensations. The first place they go after the primary sense organs is they get funneled to the thalamus. And then the thalamus sorts out this information and relays it to the various parts in the cortex that process that primary sensory information. If the thalamus is damaged, usually it will knock out consciousness. It's a very critical uh, point where all the information comes to and then it's distributed in the cortex. The thalamus is called the lamp, the open eye, even the third eye. And when you look at this, you wonder, was it in fact a gift from extraterrestrial beings that awakened us, that enabled us to become connected to the divine or extraterrestrial realm. Perhaps the extraterrestrials that had a hand in fashioning the human body and, and tweaking the human brain placed the thalamus there in its egg shape as a connecting link to the greater civilization out of which we originally emerged. Could the thalamus be the physical representation of what ancient cultures referred to as the third eye? And if so, might this brain structure act as a connection to greater forces in the universe? As incredible as this notion may seem, ancient astronaut theorists suggest that the thalamus can also be found represented in one of the most prominent symbols of ancient Egypt, the Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus, also known as the Eye of Ra, was a symbol of protection, royal power, and good health. But it was also known as the Eye of Providence, the all-seeing Eye of God. Now, what is incredible is if you look at the thalamus and all of the structures surrounding that, it looks like the Eye of Horus. The similarity is really pretty astonishing. 